To me, Irish people are the funniest in the world. They just are. Oh, this looks amazing. I just love any food that comes with its own home. <laughs> Everyone's a comedian. Anything else? Some greens. What do you think I am? A juggler? <laughs> Stunning. Inspirational. Would you look at the brush strokes on that? <laughs> I think the reason I see comedy in everything is because I was surrounded by it growing up. That's good. You wouldn't know we're 105. You're 105. Why? Do you know what? There's only one word for that. Absolutely cracker. Hi, how are you? In Ireland, one of the greatest compliments you can give someone is to describe them as a character. If you find any pearls, give them to me, OK? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, come on! You couldn't run the leg to yourself! Because as every writer knows, it's the characters you remember long after you've forgotten the story. Fill your heart with Ireland. Discover more at Ireland.com. Eurogold is driven by being the best civil engineering contractor in the Northwest, ensuring its clients are given the highest level of service that they deserve. Eurogold work in a wide range of industry sectors, including house building, highways, commercial and industrial build. Lola Vita is an award-winning, independently run Italian restaurant. Located on Rose Lane in the heart of Liverpool, real Italian style dishes, using the best ingredients, skillfully prepared by our chefs. Come and try our serious Italian experience. The Warrington Irish Club, a friendly and welcoming club keeping the Irish culture alive. We have Irish and country music every Saturday night, tribute nights, race nights, charity nights and karaoke. All live sports are shown on big screens. We have snooker, dominoes and crown green bowling teams along with arts and craft. Pop in for a friendly welcome and book your event at the Warrington Irish Club. Jerry Flynn Events presents the original Beat in the Heat on the Costa del Sol. Now in its 23rd year, the Costa del Dance takes place between the 1st and the 11th of April 2024 at the Hotel Amaragua Torre Molinos. Prices start from £680 sterling or €782 Euros for a 7 or 10 night stay with dinner, bed and breakfast featuring the best in country, Irish, Kaylee and set dancing. To book, phone 01254 445 050 or visit jerryflynnevents.com. everyone we hope you've all had a lovely Christmas and that you're all looking forward to a very happy new year on last week's show we showed you some of the clips that we have broadcast during the year well we're going to continue on with the same theme tonight and we're going to make a start with the Jerry Flynn events Jerry and his team took over 250 people for a week's holiday to Ballina in County Mayo this was to celebrate the 300th anniversary of the town. Jerry, tell me, how long have you been arranging these events? We actually started in 1989, so 30 odd years now, you know. My goodness, and you've gone all over Europe with them, haven't you? All over the world, actually, Martin, yeah, we've been to uh, We've been to the United States a few times, we've been to Australia, we've uh, travelled around the North and South Islands of New Zealand, we've even danced in Fiji, believe it or not, yeah. You know, this week, because you're celebrating 300 years of your native Ballina. That's right, it's, uh, they, they received a charter to develop the town in 1723. So it's a 300th anniversary this year. Jerry, 
Jerry Flynn events from Manchester brought over 250 people over for a week's holiday here. Great to see so many people with them because it's so important for Ballina and people like that and a group of people like that, that's what counts, you know, and that's what makes the, the occasion so important. But I have to say that we had a, a great day and uh, it was a pleasure to, to honour Jerry Flynn and his, his group. I, I love the weather in Ballina. It's totally unpredictable, you know. We've had sunshine, we've had showers, and we've had hailstones and rain. But above all, we've had people smiling here in Ballina. And that is due to the wonderful entertainment that the entertainers have given to the people, and also to the conviviality of the guests themselves. It's afternoon here, I can't believe it, and everybody's having a wonderful time out dancing and singing and the music is fantastic. It's absolutely brilliant and today in the bar we are dancing to magic moments from County Monaghan, Tony Cannon and Declan Trainer. And they're doing a great job out there, I'll tell you, they have all the crowd enjoying it. They have indeed, yes, it's great to be here, it's wonderful to be all part of it. What's it like working with your brother? Is he a bit of a slave driver? We know how to handle him, yeah, he's fine. <laughs> he's OK, yeah. But he does like things done his own way, which we do. Well, that's why it's been so successful all those years. Absolutely, yeah. And his first priority is always the customer, to make sure they're happy. And if they're happy, he's happy, and we're all happy. I have done Blackpool, I've done Spain, I've done Portugal, I've done Innescrone. Your set dancing here was unbelievable, the music was fantastic and the people that was dancing, my God, they put their heart and soul into it. Well look, that's what makes us, is that the dancers come to us and they enjoy us. If they didn't come, we wouldn't be here. We go to Spain and to Portugal every year. We had uh, 540 people uh, in Torremolinas for 10 days and already we have over 300 people sold now for next year. So uh, anybody that uh, wants to book, this is a good time for me to tell them to book early. <laughs> Everyone enjoyed their week's holiday in Ballinan, County Mayo. Fantastic music and lovely food. What more could you ask for? Now, the GA Northern Games has developed into a huge event with teams travelling from all parts of the UK to take part. A very warm welcome to Brilton Park. The boys and girls here, there's been a high standard of football today from all ages, under sevens, all the way to under 17s. You can see the, the progress being made in the, in the clubs, uh, the coaching, you know, everything is going very well. It was great, great to see and it was great to see so many young children there going up for the medals and they really enjoyed it. Oh, it's, it's just fabulous just to see the smile on their face, just, just everyone gets a medal here today. It's all about taking part, it's a great community event. Sarah, my goodness, the atmosphere is electric here today. Oh, Martin, it's incredible, isn't it? Like, the crowds are amazing. Wonderful to see so much support out here for the Gaelic Games. And, yeah, really, they're really getting into it. There's certainly a lot of noise there in the background. It's great to see Andy Burnham here supporting the Games again this year. No, really wonderful to see him here. I think he's really committed to supporting the, the GAA. He was here last year, of course, as well. Wonderful to see him out with the hurl this time as well. They had him kicking a ball last year, but they had him testing his hurling skills. So apparently he was a cricket player. Andy, you're becoming a, quite a dab hand at these Gaelic games. Ah, I'm a regular now, and uh, I tried the other one last year, and now, uh, now a bit of hurling. So, uh, yeah, I'm getting there. Yeah, absolutely. What a lovely day here for the community. So many children here yesterday and adults and families today. Do they, do they call it the luck of the Irish to get two days like this in consecutive years in Manchester? You, you, you're doing something right. Somebody's, somebody's uh, looking down on you and, uh, uh, and, and shining on these games. But it's, it's fantastic, honestly. It's brilliant for us to host this and it's why I'm here to show my support. I'm a CDA, a Community Development Administrator for uh, Lancashire GA uh, for the past year. So I would be going on coaching schools and then 
uh, I suppose organising competitions for all the age groups throughout the county and trying to promote the game as best I can. We would have been in, I think it's 18 schools since last January and nearly all those schools were here yesterday. Get great reaction in schools as well, even though it's, uh, I suppose, a sport alien to a lot of kids. But um, it does, it sells well and the kids love it in school and uh, they're really interested in it. From the perspective of being here and enjoying the day, it's a wonderful occasion to see so many children from across the North West playing games, or Gaelic games, uh, here in Manchester. And you could see it today at every child that played, enjoyed the moment that they had and enjoyed getting their medal at the end, which was lovely to see. When you, when you get this opportunity to come away and play, and that's what those kids are doing, that for them will be a, a lifetime memory, number one, but obviously the friendships they make in the GA, those are with them for the rest of their lives, and that is an, as important as playing the games. Well, it's great to be here again, Martin, and as we know, it's just getting bigger and better. Uh, Sean Hopkins and all the team are doing an amazing job. I was involved last year, as you know, and this year I'm delighted to be engaged again. And It's a brilliant, brilliant weekend, and again, it's just getting bigger and better and an honour to be involved. The Scottish team set off at five o'clock this morning and when I opened the gate at uh, eight o'clock, they were just arriving. Uh, teams from Leeds, Huddersfield, Liverpool and naturally there's uh, quite a lot from Manchester and there's some of the Birmingham teams here as well. It's a great community event and we're just, just delighted how well it's gone so far. Well done to Sean Hopkins and all his team for arranging the games and well done to everyone who took part. Now St Patrick's Day in Nottingham is a huge event and Jerry Malumbe and his committee does a wonderful job arranging this year in and year out and the people certainly turned up in their thousands to the old market square to celebrate. <laughs> delighted to be here today to welcome you all into the Market Square for the Nottingham St. Patrick's Day Festival. Jerry, you're a very lucky man, sun shining on you here in the centre of Nottingham celebrating St. Patrick's Day. Well, Martin, we had this conversation on this very spot on the 17th of March last year. I remember distinctly saying how lucky we were with the weather and I think we were luckier this year in all fairness. a letter of understanding between Nottingham and Dublin and I'd like to present this to the Grand Marshal of the City of Dublin, Mike Meehan. Mike, a great day to be here in Nottingham. It's a proud day to be in Nottingham. Nottingham and Dublin twinned today. And of course you're the Grand Marshal representing Dublin and Nottingham. I'm very proud to do it. I was born in Dublin, I was born in Crumlin and very proud today to, to present uh, the Dublin and Nottingham twinning. In every single part of the UK, as you know in Manchester last night, in Newcastle today as well, in London we've had a full programme. It's not St Patrick's Day anymore, it's St Patrick's fortnight really and uh, we've enjoyed that festival. St Patrick is a unifying figure for all the peoples of these islands. England, Wales, Scotland, Ireland, we all claim a little part of St Patrick. Raymond, it's lovely to see your family here with you. Yeah, no, it's great to be able to take them up and share in this with the people in Nottingham. Happy St. Patrick Day, everybody in Ireland and the UK. So happy St. Patrick Day to everyone in the UK and also back home in Switzerland. God has blessed us with some beautiful weather and may it continue throughout the rest of the day. I'd like to take the opportunity too, as others have, to thank the organising committee for putting together this uh, lovely afternoon of events, representing something of that rich tradition and culture of, of Ireland. It's been a great afternoon. To some degree it's hard work. I do enjoy it. I get a great buzz, personal buzz out of it all coming together on the day. Uh, and I got a good committee, but it's a good tiredness, it's a good, a good feeling, yeah.
Everyone enjoyed being in Nottingham and of course this coming year is a special year for the Nottingham Irish Festival. They'll be celebrating 25 years, so well done and many congratulations to them. Now we're off for a break and we'll see you in a few minutes. To me, Irish people are the funniest in the world. They just are. Oh, this looks amazing. I just love anything that comes with its own home. <laughs> Everyone's a comedian. Anything else? Some greens. What do you think I am? A juggler? <laughs> <laughs> Stunning. Inspirational. Would you look at the brush strokes on that? <laughs> I think the reason I see comedy in everything is because I was surrounded by it growing up. That's good. You wouldn't know we're 105. You're 105. Why? Do you know what? There's only one word for that. Absolutely cracker. Hi, how are you? In Ireland, one of the greatest compliments you can give someone is to describe them as a character. If you find me pearls, give them to me, OK? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, come on! You couldn't run the leg for yourself! Because as every writer knows, it's the characters you remember long after you've forgotten the story. Fill your heart with Ireland. Discover more at Ireland.com. Eurogold is driven by being the best civil engineering contractor in the Northwest, ensuring its clients are given the highest level of service that they deserve. Eurogold work in a wide range of industry sectors including house building, highways, commercial and industrial build. Lola Vita is an award winning independently run Italian restaurant. Located on Rose Lane in the heart of Liverpool, real Italian style dishes, using the best ingredients, skillfully prepared by our chefs. Come and try our serious Italian experience. The Warrington Irish Club, a friendly and welcoming club keeping the Irish culture alive. We have Irish and country music every Saturday night, tribute nights, race nights, charity nights and karaoke. All live sports are shown on big screens. We have snooker, dominoes and crown green bowling teams along with arts and craft. Pop in for a friendly welcome and book your event at the Warrington Irish Club. Jerry Flynn Events presents the original Beat in the Heat on the Costa del Sol. Now in its 23rd year, the Costa del Dance takes place between the 1st and the 11th of April 2024 at the Hotel Amaragua Torre Molinos. Prices start from £680 sterling or €782 Euros for a 7 or 10 night stay with dinner, bed and breakfast featuring the best in country, Irish, Kaylee and set dancing. To book, phone 01254 445 050 or visit jerryflynnevents.com. Welcome back. Now the Galway Association in London does wonderful work fundraising and supporting all good causes. And earlier on this year, we went along to their 60th anniversary annual dinner dance. And what a great occasion it was. Our love was on the wings. We had dreams and songs to sing. It's so lonely around the fields of FM Pride. Brenda, you picked the right year to be chairman, of course, celebrating the 60 years. Early in the year, Rory Dial was our chairman and he was busy at work and a little bit of pressure squeeze put on me to take it over. So I said I'd give it a go for this year anyway to see how we'd go. Now, overall, I'd be very happy how we made a bit of progress. It's uh, difficult to get younger people on the committee. We've been working around the clock trying to um, get younger generation now, I suppose we are in a situation where we have five or six younger lads and ladies, and the ladies are the kingpins that we have, and they are actually spreading the best of the world to get out to younger people, and that makes a little bit of difference for us. Barbara, another great night for the Galway Association. Fabulous night, Martin. 60th anniversary, so it's well supported. Great night. And of course you've got great guests over from Ireland as well. We have a whole string now tonight, actually. 
And of course, a special award and presentation tonight for your Galway Person of the Year, Dennis Curran. Yes, yeah, yeah. A fantastic Galway man. Very proud to have him here now tonight. Um, good evening, people of Galway and friends. When I was made president of the Galway Association, it was the first thing I thought about. President and an honour and a function or a title is one thing, but it's nothing if you don't do something with it. Yeah. And that's why I started the, uh, uh, with Sean Brown, the, the Forgotten Irish. Yeah. And then it developed into uh, outreach, but there's also, there was already a, re a registered out, so it's called now uh, <clears throat> Reach Out. Now, it's really important that this time of the year, with the way the situation is with bills and money and everything, that Reach Out is supported with money and they can support it down the line. Yeah, absolutely. That's that's why we that's where we give our money to and our the money we have in the bank and whatever money we give it to Brian Boylan who is our man on the ground. We have great stalwarts in the in the Galway Association, all them people that give so much and get so little. They don't want anything out of it. They just give, give, give. Well, I, I certainly am delighted to be here and uh, we're over really because uh, my good friend uh, uh, Dennis Curran is getting the award of the Golden Man of the Year. Yeah. And like I, I would have anticipate that he got this 20, 30 years ago, you know, yeah, yeah. but uh, he's delighted to get it and we were delighted to come over yeah. and, and join him in that celebration, you know, so yeah. When I get invited to events like this, I really truly feel that it's a real honour that people actually want to see me in the room. So, yeah, uh, I haven't quite got used to that bit yet. Um, after this sort of like a pinchy moment that people want to see me. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm passionate about anything Irish, but yeah, absolutely delighted to be at their 60th anniversary. Um, I just want to say thank you to Brandy and the Galway Association, all your special guests for inviting me here. I have uh, four grandparents. I have Monaghan, Waterford, Dublin and Galway, and that is the four proud provinces of Ireland. It's a wonderful occasion to here tonight. Uh, great crowds, great atmosphere, um, and yeah, to mark 60 years of all that the Galway people have done here in London and, and indeed in Britain, and, and all the work to do for the community here, for charity and for the whole community here in London. It's just great, great to be here to mark this special occasion. Barbara has um, um, stored this ship for a long, long time before me, and uh, does a great job and takes a lot of the background work, and uh, doesn't get seen all the time, but it doesn't. The, the association doesn't run without her and her and her purse strings. So thank you, Barbara, for that. <laughs> and the same with Colleen. Colleen's been fantastic having Colleen on board. It's been a great, great support for me and for everyone on the association. It's so lonely around the fields of heaven well done to Seamus O'Grady and Brendan Breen and all the Galway Committee for all the wonderful work that they do in supporting good causes. Now the Park Festival in Birmingham is an absolute huge event and the people certainly turned out in their thousands to support it this year. She was pretty and pink like a young Two many years married She never thought twice Where she stayed that though and into the night Derek, welcome to Birmingham. Thank you very much. It's great to be here. Well, it is, and there's a big crowd out there waiting for you to go on stage. Yeah, big crowd, big festival, and lovely weather as well, which is very important. So uh, we're looking forward to getting out there. Ambassador, great to see you here at the Park Festival. It's brilliant to be here, Martin. It's a wonderful day. It, the, the weather is okay so far, and a lovely crowd here, and everybody really enjoying themselves on the Bank Holiday weekend. It's great to be here. Well, you certainly met quite a lot of people here today. Well, there's thousands of them here today. I haven't met them all yet, but we, it's, the night is young. Come here, what's it like being an Irish ambassador here? Very hard. 
when they booked me to come down to um, Birmingham for an Irish festival, I was expecting something like small gathering. But Jesus, this is a concert, by This is huge, man. This is daily. I'm proud of the Irish people standing their ground and Birmingham by sending with the music. It's amazing. I love it. Why does people love your music so much? I don't know. <laughs> they like me, I don't know why. In fact, um, the crowds are getting bigger. I'm doing a gig in Dublin when I go home, it's sold out in a couple of hours, and another one in Limerick, that's sold out, and it's good. So next year is my 40th anniversary, and I'm planning some very special gigs for that. It is a huge event to organise each year. Yeah, it takes up a, a lot more time than, than you think. We're quite excited to see about next year and the year after that and you know we, we genuinely have a passion to, to keep Irish culture alive in the UK as, as do you guys and you, you know you want to see it you know sustain itself and, and grow really. Unbelievable uh, atmosphere out there, great bands. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't here last night for Mary Black and Van Morrison, and the list goes on and on and on. Amazing lineup, and uh, definitely up there with the best festivals that I've ever played. So, delighted to be here and delighted to be back again in, in Birmingham. The recipient of this award is the owner and presenter of Irish in the UK television programme. Well done to Kieran Healy and all the committee who worked so hard to organise the Park Festival. And I would like to say a special thank you to the people of Birmingham for recognising the Irish in the UK TV show with a lovely award for us on the day. Now we all know it's great to live to an old age if you've got good health. Well, we went along to meet one special lady earlier on this year. Her name is Kathleen Malloy. She comes from County Galway and she was celebrating her 104th birthday. Happy birthday dear Kathleen, happy birthday dear Kathleen, happy birthday to you. Kathleen, many congratulations, you're celebrating a 104th birthday today. Yes, thank you, thank you. And it's a great honour to a, a county like this. I was a stranger coming here from Clifton in Connemara, but there were lovely people there and very kind. Tell me a little bit about your time in Birmingham and how you met your future husband. I met him after church. And we used to go to Mass, my single, another girl from Kerry and myself. We're uh, very privileged to, to have our mother at such an advanced age. It's uh, a privilege not given to many. And of course you lost your dad quite a number of years ago, so it's so important to have your mum here. Yeah, he died relatively young. And certainly compared with my mother, he died very young. She's got great health now. Did she always have good health in life? Well, she's had mixed health, really. She had a, quite a massive operation after our father died, and they didn't think she'd be here, but she still is. And there's a, a medal from the president. That's a, a third, third one now, um, the, the medal, that is. Um, um, and uh, she's, she's very proud of that. I, I've known her now for over 50 years since I first met Una and it's taken most of that time to convince her that I was good enough for her daughter I think but uh, I, I think I got there in the end. You had lovely presentation there a, a special blessing from the Pope. I'm very lucky I was always lucky thank God. What a fantastic lady and Kathleen will wish you the very best of health in the coming year and well done to St Joseph's Home, the Little Sisters of the Poor in Manchester for the great work they do in caring for people. Now, 
It's this time of the year and I want to wish you on behalf of us all here on the Irish in the UK a very happy and prosperous new year. Please God we'll all have the health to be out there filming with you again this year. Take care, God bless and we'll see you next time. <music>